This is My Fair Lady. It's playing at Orpheum Theater in San Francisco for just a little bit longer. There's a problem. All right, so I made a confession to the two leads in the show, Shireen Ahmed and Laird McIntosh. That confession inspired a very stupid game that we played, and you can play along too. But before all that, I received a sign that the interview was meant to be. I have something to tell you, Shireen. This is incredible because in my career, and I am aged at this point, practically a dinosaur, this has never happened to me where I've interviewed someone from my hometown. From Baltimore? Perry Hall, my friend. Perry Hall? Not You're just from Baltimore. Perry Hall. From Perry Hall. So I'm originally from Hawaii. We moved to Perry Hall when I was nine years old. I went to Perry Hall Middle School and Perry Hall High School. And I almost went to Towson University, which is, I know where you went. Oh my goodness. We've. It's like we're, we're in this like weird universe. That's wild. I've never met anyone that has come from Perry Hall Middle, yep. Perry Hall High School, yep. Perry Hall, Maryland. Like, so crazy. Look I at know. This. And here we are. I mean, it, it and really... And here we are. When I read that about you, it was really wild. Congratulations, because, I mean, as Thank you know, you. You know not, not a whole lot of folk from Perry Hall end up going to the Broadway. And you did it. <laughs> <laughs> in a really unexpected manner because it wasn't necessarily the path that you or your family had planned out. No, you know, I went to school for criminal justice at Towson University. Um, and I figured to myself, I was like, you know, I just want to see if there's something to this performing, right? And I went up to New York and auditioned for My Fair Lady and the rest is history. So it's, yeah, it wasn't the path that I was really, you know, gearing for. So Laird, she just casually walks into an open call on the Broadway and ends up booking the show and then ends up <laughs> eventually playing the lead character and now is on tour as lead character. No big deal. <laughs> Here's the embarrassing thing that I have to admit to both of you. I love musical theater. I consider myself a theater nerd. I have never seen My Fair Lady. I don't know why or how. It is a black hole in my repertoire that obviously needs to get fixed immediately. So here's how we get to our game. <laughs> the, oh, he leaves. I do that's blasphemy. He's, I know, it's blasphemy. I know. I'm embarrassed. I'm embarrassed. That's why I feel like I need to be really <laughs> transparent with both of you about this. So because of this embarrassing fact that I've never seen this show, um, my producer and I were talking about this, and he, he said, oh, well, here's what you need to know about the show. And he gave me his brief synopsis, which is a horrible synopsis. He says, My Fair Lady is kind of like the movie Pretty Woman, but it's really old school and in England, and skip the sex worker thing. <laughs> so, Wait, that's wildly accurate. That's okay. wildly accurate. <laughs> okay. So th th that got me to thinking, what if I, as our game, and you two are now going to compete against each other, I'm going to describe extremely popular musicals that everybody should see, but I'm going to describe them horribly and see if you can come up with the title. Oh God, are I'm you ready? I can tell you right now. Yeah. Are definitely. you ready, Laird and Shireen? Yes. I was born ready. Okay, here we go. <laughs> First one. Beauty and the Beast, Stockholm Syndrome, except the Beast is even uglier. There's no castle. Belle is a soprano. There's lots of candles, but they don't sing. Phantom. Oh. Yeah. Oh, we both got it. You both Hilarious got it. it. You both got it. You both got it. I'm, I'm impressed. OK, here we go. Rome, Romeo and Juliet except dancing. West Side Story. West Side. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Yep. Awkward teenager tells lies, ruins lives, goes viral, basically gets away with it. Dear Evan. <laughs> yes, Dear Evan Hansen. <laughs> the shadiest description <laughs> of that ever. So shady. OK, I have to tip Shireen. I had you in mind for this one. People are unbelievably excited about a fair. Like, they are an unhinged about this fair. All they can talk about is this fair. <laughs> Meet me in St. Louis. <laughs> yes. Uh, yes. Oh, my gosh. I knew you would enjoy that one. Woman in dress <laughs> walks downstairs. Uh, There's a lot of musicals. Hello, Dolly. Oh, okay. There, got it. <laughs> Last one. Iconic villain is really into animal rights and exposing hypocrisy. Doesn't actually want to kill children or your little dog, too. What was it again? Oh, my God. I don't know. You don't know? 
iconic villain is really into animal rights and exposing hypocrisy, doesn't actually want to kill children or your little dog, too. Wicked. Yes! Oh, 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 oh. Oh, <laughs> Thanks again. This was a lot of fun. And we'll see you at the theater. Yes, thank you, Reggie. Hope to see you in Perry Hall Monday. Oh, I mean, you never know.